Good morning, monkeys. Welcome to another episode of Roller Coaster Tycoon Classic series here on Coaster Monkey Studios. In this episode, we are going to bring you the completion of the main building for our hotel, as well as a really cool pool in the back. Love what I did here. I uh, hope you guys dig it too. It was super fun to make. But yeah, so going on with the same aesthetic, we've got our pink building. We're using uh, the corrugated gates or, or old metal gates as windows, right? It gives a nice rustic or, or not rustic, but very gothic feel. Again, the theme behind this building is what? A very old stately manor, right? We're living in an old stately manor. Yeah, I'll never do that again. Um, actually, I'm lying. I totally will. Uh, <laughs> But moving on, yeah, so an easy way for me to keep a nice facade going here without any issues was to run the base block straight across. It really helped with giving clear definition of where everything was and then building out the walls to coincide with those particular areas. Now what I did here is I did a little offsetting of the windows. I thought it'd be really cool to have flanking on either side terraces with canopies overlooking the pool right all right because we've got the front side of the building you've got those top two floors that have no balconies and they're overlooking the whole park and you've got the lower two floors that are overlooking the whole park and the fountain and everything else in the back here right we're facing nothing but the big blackness outside of the grid so i figured we'd do some really cool balconies have them trimmed with our gates that we did around the facade or the top of the building and the front of the building and then cap them off with some canopy because why not all right so here i'm throwing up the roof on this side here again super simple uh same routine threw up some turrets and uh, you know very similar to how we did on that flanking building off to the side so really simple and easy here but as this goes, let's chat a little bit about what's going on in the world. So, hey, looks like states are definitely going to be opening up come uh, mid-May and June. So we are all on the lookout here if you're a roller coaster fan or a theme park fan like myself. I cannot wait for them to open up. And uh, hopefully we'll get to get our butts in some roller coasters soon. You know, again, obviously safety first right but um yeah it looks like we're gonna see some some park openings happening uh in the next few months so or in the next month or so maybe month and a half two months um hopefully by my birthday i'll be honest with you. okay so i turned 40 yeah i turned 40 on july 28th um put that in your calendars guys that's my birthday you need to send me a gift no, i'm kidding um but yeah, so July 28th, I turned 40, and my initial plan was to go to Cedar Point in Sandusky, Ohio, and do a Cedar Point, Kentucky Kingdom, Indiana Beach, Kings Island-esque trip, right? Holiday World, a nice five-park trip, five days, uh, seven days, excuse me. But yeah, because Cedar Point needs at least three, hello. But anyway, so yeah, I mean... Looks like that's not, that might not happen. So we'll see. But I'll definitely be getting out there this year. Um, but yeah, see the point. So he's watching a recreation. I don't know if you guys watch Channel 5 Gaming, their channel. But Johnny 5 Live. Johnny 5! Uh, he does a really great park spotlight for Planet Coaster. And there's this guy, one of his, one of his pupils, people... Uh, they were, uh, they did a recreation of, of, of Cedar Point, and I was, oh, wow, dumbfounded at how absolutely sick this park came out, and, and, and I, I mean, I love Cedar Point, so hopefully it'll, it'll happen. Uh, if not this year, I'll just turn 40 again next year, because I don't think I'm aging after this year anyway. <laughs> but, you know, semantics. All right, so we finished the flanking of this building on either side. I really love the way that looks. It gives a really great feel and vibe. Um, you know, I picture the buildings that, the, the floors that have only the two balconies. Those floors are for, you know, luxury apartments, large grand apartments or whatever, or hotel rooms. 
So we built up, you know, two elevator blocks here on this side. Again, very reminiscent of uh, many of the buildings or luxury resort buildings I've seen in the past. And I'm looking at this and I'm going, oh wait, oh wait, we've got that center block that we need to deal with again. So I do something pretty cool here. Uh, again, reminiscent of the front. And, and this is where that raising tool comes in and being able to lock things into place. So raise it up, raise it up, raise it up, and there we go, boop. Now we throw in those blocks all the way across. Um, and I hate that they're there. But yeah, so we build up the center block here and then we throw up the facades in between on either side. I feel like after this we could skip a little bit and run straight to the pool, but it is what it is. But I do like the way this came out. Uh, I'll be honest with you, really love the direction we've gone with this. I've gone with this, I should say. What do you guys think? Do you like it? Do you not like it? I mean, I see a bunch of people watching my videos, but nobody comments, nobody talks about it. Nobody says, I like it, I don't like it, it's a piece of crap, I wish you would shut up, you talk too much during your videos, I just wanna watch you make stuff. Nobody. Um, comment, I wanna hear what you guys have to say. Uh, you're all watching my stuff here, I would love to know what your thoughts are. Uh, I want this to be interactive, I want it to be developmental. Um, but yeah, I digress. As we continue along here, uh, down at the bottom, we throw in nice little canopies again, uh, giving us a, a very cool look. And now we throw up the walls in between our columns there. See, now this is, look at how great that is. Boop, 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 boop. Done. Boop, 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 boop. Done. So easy. How great does that look? I think it looks fantastic. I mean, if I do say so myself, I'm really good at this game. <laughs> oh, I'm kidding. Just kidding. All right, how awesome do those canopies look? Ah, oh, I love it. I kind of like this side better than the front, actually. <laughs> but you know, you live in your lane. All right, and then here I thought it'd be cool if we throw in some gates, right? Because everybody needs a gate to get out and then go out into the pool area. Alright, there we go. So now we've got the roofs up. We throw up on this side here just the gated windows up the side. And now we're going to put the roof on this. And then we run into a little problem here with the entrance to our sky ride, our uh, chairlift right here. Um, it, it comes out. We don't like that. So I want to take that little piece of roof off just to cover it up. Because again, I, I hate the entrance and exits to these rides. Uh, in this game, it's so bad. Oh, my goodness. All right, uh, hurry up. I want to get to the pool. <laughs> the pool comes out so cool. I love I love the technique I used for it. Um, this is the first time I've used this type of technique. Uh, and I thought it came out really well. Um, you know, again, uh, you can only do so much with the grass floor. <clears throat> So I come back and I do a really great technique. I thought it was pretty cool. I hope you guys did it. And if you don't, tuck my knees. <laughs> Just kidding. I look how great that looks. Oh my god, I can't wait to get all five buildings done. Or all five uh, towers done, I should say. So, oh, okay, cool. So here's what we do. So I remember mentioning this in yesterday's video. Um, uh, putting in a waterway that, that wraps around the front and through the sides. Uh, so that's what we wind up doing here. I thought this was a really great addition as well. We're going to come back and obviously detail all this. Now there's going to be a lot of bushwork and tree work that's got to go into the next 
next day or so. And I think what I'll do is, because I've already got tomorrow's video cut, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do all of the tree work. The really boring, excuse me, really, really boring tree work. Uh, today, uh, I'll get it all done this way. We've got tomorrow's video already cut. You can see I'm doing a little something here for something, and we'll talk about that at a later date. Um, we might have an additional surprise coming in after our hotel, but uh, when that happens, you'll see it. Anyway, so so yeah, so what I wanted to do was I'm going to do all that tree work today. I'll post the video for tomorrow, and so tomorrow I'll be able to work on the rest of the hotel. Uh, and that'll be our final episode for Monday of the hotel. Hopefully, I'll be done with it on Monday. If not, I'll shoot myself in the face. Just kidding. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, so I thought this was cool coming around here. I deleted some of my hotel, which I was upset about, but I fixed it. I am really upset about losing those trees, though. I do love those trees, as you guys know. Maybe I'll wrap them around the outside. I don't know. Well, I'll figure it out. But yeah, so we've got this really cool water feature that comes around uh, and about the front. We put the, the grass back in or the, the hedges back in around the edge because, again, I, I felt like it looked too empty. I do love how it looks. And we're going to get some bushing and stuff like that. Just use those corners there. Maybe some taller shrubbery. I don't know. We'll see exactly. I'm not exactly sure what's going to look like. But yeah, so here... Um, my initial intention was to build out our river that comes around the back of the hotel. And with it being built out this way, so I'm going back and forth, back and forth, I had it wrap around like a huge river, that, like a lazy river, if you will, that goes around the back of the hotel. I mean, it's actually not a functioning river. It's just a border, right? It's like a berm, but not really. Look at how cool that looks, right? So a very simple, very simple uh, river. This is gonna be a, a natural feature, uh, but not really natural, obviously. So we're gonna need a lot of bushing and hedging all the way around. So here at this point, I'm thinking to myself, okay, what do I? Do? What does one do to make a pool? So I dug out the whole back, shut the front door. What a genius! No, the pool's not gonna be that big because then I come back. And I take a base block in a concrete color, and now I create the border of the pool that goes all the way around. Again, genius, right? Who thought I was so smart? Now, mind you, that's just the exterior of the pool. Don't get excited yet. What we're going to do now is we're going to trace out the actual pools themselves, right? So I decided. We're gonna do a center pool, center pool, right? And then we'll have one that wraps around on the outside. But then I'm like, you know what? This looks kind of boring from a pool standpoint. Let's put a little mountain in the middle. <laughs> How cool is that? Right? I thought so. So, and I started futzing around with this and I wanted it to be, again, a water feature, a central water feature into the pool. You know, I don't know if you guys have ever been to a resort like this, but where the, in the, in the, behind the hotel, they got a massive water feature and there's like water sprouting all about it. I mean, I, I've been in one in Cancun, I've been in one in Puerto Vallarta, I've been in one in Cozumel. Um, yeah, so you guys get the idea. But how cool is that, right? I thought that was a pretty cool idea. So as I'm, I'm building out this water feature and, and I'm thinking to myself, all right, let's get this all up and fun. It was a little challenging trying to get the right angles and make it not feel too fake. I wanted it to feel fake, but I didn't want it to feel too fake, right? So I built up some of the water on the outside here and then I just, I felt it was too square, it was too blocky. I had so many issues with it, it frustrating. But then I started thinking to myself, well, hi, you built how many mountains already in this park? 
and in your lifetime? Why is this so complicated? So I just went with it. I built it however I thought it would work. And then some of it gets changed in a little bit because I, I do something else really freaking cool to it, but you'll just have to wait and see. I was getting so frustrated here too because the, the water walls, they just they would not work for me. They keep going wherever they wanted. I was getting so frustrated. Oh, this is, this is probably out of everything I've done in this park, the most, I mean, mind boggling. I was having headaches as I was making this. I mean, you're talking about 20 minutes, 20 minutes worth of video cut down into a minute. That's so long it took me to make this mountain. And I don't even love it. I'm looking at it now, I don't love it. I don't love it at all. Oh my God, I hate it. Oh my God, it's horrible. It looks like Volcano Bay. <laughs> Kidding. I like Volcano Bay. So we throw in some palm trees here because we want it to feel very tropical, tropical. And uh, we get all this, this walkway in and all the people flood out. I'm like, what the hell people? You're not supposed to be walking here. So we make them go away. And then I have this really cool idea of doing a double fence, right? So we've got this fence, which I call the Batman the Ride fence. For anybody who's been on a Batman the Ride in any Six Flags in the United States, you know what this fence is. Batman the Ride. Yeah, it's Batman the Ride. So I put up the... Uh, the square hedge here and then the Batman the Ride fence comes up right behind it. So double layered fence like we did with the fence on the other side. So I thought this was a great idea. I figured this is something they would have. <gasps> oh, hiccups, excuse me. Um, they would have in a, in a surrounding a pool because you know what, you know, people Googling in or Googling, not Googling, Googling in at other people who are like bathing in their bathing suits and they got no, like almost no clothes on and people sitting there staring awkwardly, creepy through the, through the fence, like, ha <laughs> I like it. Okay, I'll never do that again. Can't promise that either. <laughs> uh, all right, so we wrap it up with some palm trees all the way around. Wrapping it up, rip, 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 wrap it up. And then I get this awesome idea. Wait, wait for it, wait for it, because this idea is awesome. Oh my God, can you take any longer? Oh, that's right, I've been through this first. Okay, we're just a little fence up over here, you know, because this is a walkway. And, and why would a walkway be necessary to go to a mountain? Hmm, what do you guys think? I don't know. Here it comes. Here it comes. Get ready, get ready, get ready. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. So cool. All right, hold on, that's not all of it. Relax. Oh, I should change that to the, to the wooden walkway though, right? How cool would that be? So look at what I do. This is such a great idea. I take the water flume, the log flume, and I create a water slide. Shut the front door. I mean, kind of ingenious, guys, you gotta admit. How cool is that, right? It looks like, I mean, it, it looks like a really cool, cool, you know, pool to go to at a, at a resort hotel. All right, guys, thanks for joining us here at Coaster Monkey Studios. Catch us on Patreon now, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Discord, you know where we are. Come find us, Coaster Monkey Studios. Thanks you once again for joining. Catch you guys later.